Governor Bill Lee this week saying he is going to call for that special session uh, of the legislature to address public safety, namely gun control issues. And the, so far, though, he has not called it officially, which is interesting. Some people are reading something into that. And he's getting a lot of heat uh, from people that are normally on his side of the aisle uh, and, and on his side of a lot of things. And that's uh, the, the Tennessee Rifle Association. A lot of his fellow Republicans are really discouraging him from, from calling this special session. They don't like the fact that he's kind of aligning himself with some Democrats. And Otis, you were talking about how, mm -hmm. as an example of that, uh, State Senator Ramesh Akbari, uh, she is one of those who actually think something might get done on the special session, which does show there's some kind of alliance there that, that the governor is forming with Democrats. God forbid that we should get do things together, but uh, <laughs> what are your thoughts? Well, I'm, I, I, I admire Senator Ackberry's uh, optimism, but I just don't see anything happening here. I just don't see that the Republicans are going to go along with this, and I will be surprised if it even happens right now, because there's so much pushback against this. You're not going to have any substantive gun control legislation. You may uh, do some window dressing on something, but I just don't see it. Catherine, what do you, how do you assess yeah, it right I now? I wonder if there will be um, some possibility of something happening because Republicans on the ground who are not in some sort of leadership role, who do not work for the Tennessee Rifle Association, they want gun control. Um, they want sensible policies, um, perhaps not as wide a percentage as Democrats. But if you look at the data, um, people across the country, across the state, want sensible gun legislation. But whether those people can actually put pressure on their people in office to the same degree or more so than the people who have official um, titles and a lot of money, um, I, don't, I don't know. It really is a test of who has more pull. Is it the lobby, lobbying groups or is it the opinions of the citizens? And the polls have been very clear. Even among gun owners, among Republicans, the, the, the measures they're looking at in Nashville here in a couple weeks, uh, three weeks, will have vast support from the people of Tennessee. Well, I would suggest to Republicans and Democrats to listen to your citizens because they will be the one that are voting. And I do think there will be some movement. I think there will be some movement toward in middle, mental health issues. Um, but I'm not sure overall um, things that we would like to see, like backgrounds checks, but they may do something uh, to tighten the opportunity for those with mental illnesses to receive guns. And even though uh, Democrats are uh, have very small presence in the state house and the state capitol, uh, we do know that this week the two Justins uh, were reelected in a special election, so they will be in Nashville uh, representing their constituents there on these issues. And while. There wasn't a lot of people who turned out to vote for them. The special elections tend to go that way. We do expect that both of them, uh, Justin Pearson from Memphis and Justin Jones from Nashville, will be very vocal uh, during the special session. Right, Otis? Oh, no question about it. And even though the turnout was small here, 6 percent, uh, almost about 60 percent of the turnout, he got 93 percent of the vote. Um, so high turnout or low turnout, he has a tailwinds going in here. And he's going to be vocal, and, and as he should be, and we'll see what happens here. I, I'm just not convinced, Dewan, that anything of substance is going to get done. Well, I want to say this. I know he's going to be vocal, but I think we can look toward people like uh, Senator Agbear to be a negotiator. Right. And activism will get the attention, but negotiation will get some results. And that's kind of her, her mm -hmm. reputation. Mm -hmm. she's, she's good at uh, um, kind of running down the middle there and mm -hmm. making friends on the other side of the aisle when it's required. Mm -hmm. Catherine, you want to have a final word on this? Yeah, right now you've got a good mix of both. You've got a mm -hmm. good mix of the people who can really engage mm -hmm. in that negotiation, work with both sides of the aisle, and then you've got those activists like mm -hmm. the Justins and you need who can that. really draw national attention mm -hmm. to an issue, who've been compared to civil rights leaders, um, who can you know get the attention of all mm -hmm. those young people who maybe don't pay enough attention to politics. Right. Um, and you've really got both right mm -hmm. now in the Democratic Party in Nashville, so I think it'll be interesting to see what they accomplish. If he's going to call a special session, Otis, does he need to do it probably this oh, week yeah, coming he up? he needs to do it right away. The clock is ticking to the 23rd of... Um, 21st? I mean, 21st yeah. to 21st of August, and so he's got to start this clock. This will be a test of his leadership. Uh, if, if, it, if it doesn't happen, if he backs down, it'll tell what kind of leader he is, and I think it might even seal his legacy. All right, very good. We'll uh, take a break now. When we come back, we're going to talk about the uh, Memphis Shelby Crime Commission. It's been around forever, and at least one state representative says it's time for a big shakeup there. We'll talk about that when we come back.